Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Goat Piece episode 149. But guys, in the last episode, so much happened, bro. So much lore, so much hype. We even saw Mihawk in the end looking at the new bounties. I was right, bro. Yes, they all have new bounties. This island just didn't get informed, apparently. And not even our crew. We still think Luffy has 30 million on his head. That's crazy. <laughs> even the guys, even the guys in Adabasta know that's not true. But we dipped before they could tell us. Which is a detail I love, right? But they really messed with my brain for a second. I was like, whoa, 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 what is happening? Are we going backwards? <laughs> Regardless, in the last episode, we found out that these monkeys and this guy actually might know an entrance to the Sky Island? The hell? Apparently, it might mean certain death for us. So that's kind of a what? <laughs> that being said, I ain't gonna applaud this that much. If you enjoy my reactions, you know what to do. Let's go. Hard turn to the clouds, bro. We really gotta go up there? Okay. We saw that. With those giant creature silhouettes, bro, they were like godly. That, 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 bro, that image is haunting me. I'm sorry, those silhouettes, them not even showing us how they look, just silhouettes, and they're, they were so big, bro. That, that's gonna haunt me in my dreams, bro. That, that, what were those creatures? That was, that was insane. Maybe those, oh, another theory. Another theory. And me, that would explain why he said the only way to get up there means certain death for them. Maybe they need to go back to that place that turns to night in a matter of seconds with those gigantic silhouettes. Maybe those creatures need to pick up the ship and lift you up there. And if they don't like you, they can squish you. Maybe that's the entrance. Ooh, that's a good theory. Yeah. Look at the size of them. Oh. Oh。Okay, okay, so I'm guessing the island's on this cloud. Right, because it's been around for thousands of years, just floating up there and it never rains. It's gonna be the foundation for the island, the sky island. You just need to get up there. And they're probably gonna use the giants. ふしぎ雲ってことか。そうなる。未だ解明されねえ雲だ。ルビーすげえ。吹き上げる海流ノックアップストリーム。ああ、they <笑> We're not surviving that, especially the ship, right? And let's think through this logically. If we fall down, the ship falls apart, Luffy goes in the water. I mean, I guess the crew can save him, but yeah, that ship is not surviving. Yeah. <laughs> <笑>で、インベスティッド。その化け物海流の原理ってのも当然予測の域を超えない。そこに突っ込んでまで調べようっていうバカいねえからな。これは海を吹き飛ばし、空への海流をも生み出すほどの大爆発だ。Actually, I think these things exist. Just not that strong. <laughs> but I think they're they're they're, they're like what, everything what he just explains is a natural occurring thing. In the real world as well. いかにして約1分間海は空へ上昇し続ける。1分間。水が立ち登るってどういう規模の爆発？そのまま何に引っかかることもなく海面に叩きつけられて。いや、全員海の木図だ。Crazy。ラッキークライドラッキーやろうじ
then again, you are talking to a guy who spit water just above him and then died, and then the water came back and brought him back to life at exactly the place where he fell. So he definitely has me, Lucky. <laughs> he has luck on his side. <laughs> やばし。大丈夫だよ。お前またそんな根拠のねえことを軽々とは。大体よ。今のゴイング<笑><笑><笑> Yo, is it wise to call him a liar, bro? Considering that he has that over his family's name for generations now. And now a liar is calling him a liar, bro. Usopp calling somebody a liar is like Luffy being intelligent. It doesn't fit together. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Damn, he explained in detail, logically, why he believes it's gonna occur tomorrow. Which doesn't make him a liar, that made sense. Mm, Usopp is sweating. <laughs> Apologize! Oh? Oh, he didn't take offense or anything! Yeah, Usopp was utterly defeated here. He didn't get a rise out of the dude. The dude stayed calm and bruh, nice, right? He even called him a comrade and he explained in detail why he believes it's gonna occur tomorrow. He utterly defeated Usopp and Usopp feels like he's less of a man for it because he showed his cowardly side. And I'm sure he's worried for the ship. I mean, I don't know if he's worried for the ship more than he is for himself and his well-being. But regardless... He doubted the man who tried to help him. <laughs> Did you see that detail? He said the rum tastes great today. The other guy who, who gave that splendid speech in the last episode also said that walking away, like the rum tastes great today. It's gonna be something around believers, right? Because it tastes great today because because tomorrow they're gonna go on a very dangerous journey involving belief. Because you gotta be a little bit crazy to go on such a journey. Oh. I love it. <laughs> so he dies and they're gonna fly. I'm telling you, brah, that stream propelled the whole freaking mountain of gold up there, and Luffy and the gang, they're gonna find it, and they're gonna come back down and tell this man about it, and he's gonna cry like a little baby for actually being the one to disprove that his ancestor was a liar, bruh. And that's why this is this was an important bit of information because they're probably gonna find that skull and in the right eye, it's gonna be treasure. Gold. <laughs> oh. I forgot about him. Yo, I love the narration. I love the narration. I love every detail. I love how everybody's having fun. The crew is being a crew, a family. They're just having a blast while being narrated by this. Like, I love it. 
I love it. And, and there's just something so precious about you leaving something behind in writing about your journeys. And then five generations later, one of your ancestors picks that up and they try to relive what you relived, bro. Yo, they're going to make me start a journal or some shit. That's amazing. I love it. I love it, bro. Wouldn't that be cool? Like you travel the world and every place you visit, you dot down in the journal a specific place in a city where you want your right offspring one day to go and be at the exact same location you were a hundred years ago or 200 years ago. And then you leave that journal after you die in your will for your great, 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 great grandkids to visit those same places, those same spots and see how they change. You describe them completely. Yo, that's great. I'm going to do that. She is. Yo, you just know. You, I just told you what I'm going to put in my will. That's great. That's great. たかだかすじゅうねんいきてすべてをしぶふうなわれらにはインゴットはきんをグラムわけするためにかこうされたものそれでとりひきがなされていたことになるわそうそれにぜんぶんにあったきみょうなとりのよ I love how knowledgeable she is I still don't trust her don't get me wrong I'm, I'm very suspicious of her but she's she comes in so useful with the knowledge I love it あきごえおいマシだ うわ、まだのか。こっちはできねえな。これで全部だ。うわ、綺麗。黄金の金に取り、それが昔のジャヤのシンボルだったのかね。この金に鳥の習性を利用する。ある種の動物は体内に正確な磁石を持ち、それによ
hyena da! I'm guessing because of the laugh, and you're probably dumb too. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so he arrived, and these guys need to repair our ship. But I guess that's not gonna go as smoothly as we might have thought, because Bellamy is definitely gonna do some damage. But, yo, somebody needs to destroy this guy. Man, he's pissing me off. I hope these guys, the, the two monkeys and, and, and Osan, I hope they're strong enough to, to, to whoop their ass. Because they really do need to fix our ship, bro. Our ship is destroyed. And yeah, we need to get that bird too. I'm glad Usopp noticed that uh, that thing up there is the bird that we need. So yeah, we gotta go back for it. And the bird, guess the bird. Uh, it's Chopper that noticed it, not, not Usopp. I'm giving Usopp way too much credit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Chopper could understand what the bird was saying, and the bird was saying that it will kill everybody who undermines the forest or tries to harm it. Very interesting, like a lot of details here, but uh, yeah, I'm a believer. I, I think we're going to this Sky Island for sure, bro. We're gonna get our asses over there, and we already seen so many freakishly strange things in the Grand Line, bro. Like the goldfish, that was like a mountain large. So after that, nothing surprised me, and my editor told me that goldfish just shits like islands out. Like people mistake those, like, those shits for islands so nothing surprises me on the grand line there's definitely a sky island and we're gonna visit it and they're gonna find that gold bro they're gonna find that mountain of gold up there i'm telling you the stream propelled it up there and i love it that being said i really enjoyed this episode hope you enjoyed the reaction and i'll see you in the next one stay safe love you angel and bye